five kids, Amanda, Victoria, Christopher, Cameron, and Connor. There is never a dull moment here. Everybody calls us walkers on the go because we're always running. Connor is just, he's our miracle baby. That's what I call him. He always has a smile on his face. Connor James is a amazing, lovable little boy that has been through a lot. Looking at him, you would never know that. He never showed that he was hurt or down. Connor was 10 months old when he started getting unexplained fevers. By his first birthday, he was just having them more repeatedly. I went into the hospital that day thinking my son is dehydrated. Now we were being told that our son had cancer. It was devastating. Connor was diagnosed with a type of leukemia called AML, and so he was referred to Columbia to get a bone marrow transplant. We had a bone marrow donor which was our oldest daughter. She was excited to do it, and she knew that this was something that could save her brother's life. Connor Walker came to Columbia for the consult for bone marrow transplant, but because the Sohn Foundation had given us money to sequence every tumor, and because Connor was considered high risk, we offered him this genomic sequencing of his tumor. And what we found out was that he carried a gene that made him susceptible to a whole other class of cancers. What we found by testing the parents is that the father was the carrier of this mutation. So when the walkers came for Connor's follow-up, I said, you know what, Chris? Let me send your screening tests and feel your thyroid. And I thought I felt something in his left neck. They called me up that Monday at 8 o'clock in the morning, and they were like, your husband needs to come in tomorrow. We did a biopsy, they did some other tests, and it was cancerous. By the next Monday, my husband had surgery and had his thyroid removed along with 30 lymph nodes. I had no symptoms, no signs, no feelings, no nothing. Because of Connor, we saved my husband's life. Had we not done this genetic sequencing, we would have never known it. He could have had it for another year and God forbid, spread more. The next step was finding out who else in our family carried this particular mutation. We found out through testing that three of our other kids had the gene mutation. For now, we're monitoring and we'll somewhere down the line remove their thyroid. We are always taught that pediatric cancer is not preventable. In my wildest dreams, I didn't expect that sequencing the cancer of one sibling would prevent cancer in his other siblings. It's like having a crystal ball. The sequencing technology, it's not something that could be done everywhere, and it's not financially viable for us to do so. The generous grant from the Sohn Foundation enabled us to offer this previously unreachable technology to every child who has cancer in the tri-state area. When you look at the path we've been down, Connor being sick and my oldest daughter, Amanda, saving his life by donating bone marrow from her body where they were a perfect match. So now, Amanda curing Connor, Connor curing me, and now me, my testing, is gonna cure my other children. It's amazing. Through this Sohn Foundation, we were able to save five out of the seven people in my family. I feel great, I'm cured. When I look at Connor, I look at an amazing, spunky kid. He's a superhero. 